Hello guys, um, coming back with you guys with some uh, updates and some uh, new updates we uh, added to the little project. Um, here I'll be talking about my Veeam backup application console. This is a uh, free, um, not a free trial, but it's a free home version for uh, VMware and Hyper-V. It's a really nice uh, uh, backup uh, program. It's pretty powerful. Um, it uh, integrates with vSphere and integrates with vCenter. So you can also integrate it with Hyper-V, no problem. Um, today I'll be just talking about how it integrates with uh, VMware instead of uh, Hyper-V because I don't have any servers with Hyper-V right now. So while it's loading, open up vSphere as well. Take some time to type, type a password in with one hand. Well, that's loading. So here we got the free version. Got a lot of other things built in, but they're turned off since of the free version. So I'm just going to show you guys the stuff that I use, and I have PowerShell script running behind the scenes to do most of the um, backup. But right now, I clicked on the vCenter. So it's connecting. Here we go. So here are all my VMs that get backed up nightly. There's some that are daily and some that are weekly, but most of them get it backed up nightly. So I can break it down to my high availability cluster, my standalone node, which is not connected anymore, and then my vCenter server, which is that one right there. But these two are the HA-1, the same, and there's the backup server that runs with this. So what I'll do is I'll show you a test backup. So what I'll do is I'll back to my HA1. I will back up my friend's website which is use size of 5.7 gigs provisioned to 21. So it only uses 5.7 gigs and it shrinks it down to a pretty good uh, thing. So I'm going to do a force Veeam zip since I have these programmed by a script uh, script to do it. I will show you guys how uh, it does it over uh, manually. So let me start it. So right now, as you can see, it is building the VM list, and usually if you go to vCenter, you won't see anything being touched, so literally this VM is live, so there you go. While it's live, it's getting backed up right over here. So it's all been processed key for uh, backup, and right now it's starting. So now, we can open up Task Manager, and make sure you can watch it. So this should spike up to around uh, a couple hundred megabits per second and uh, oh there we go there we go we're backing up and it usually goes up to around gigabits too but since this is just a small decent VM and the VM is on it's actually uh, doing a pretty decent job it does it pretty quickly so while I was doing that it's around 57 megabytes a second processing rate there we go 8% in And as you can see, the cores of the server start to rise up because actually um, the data input coming in from over the network card getting a. Uh, oh, there we go, 2600. So while that's doing that, you can actually see it here working pretty, uh, pretty hard here. The SAN. And this is the backup server. So this is a RAID 60 with, um, let's see, I can't remember the configuration. I'll have to show you guys in a second. But this is a RAID uh, 1 for the OS, and then there's a RAID uh, 10 for the storage for the backup server. And this one has around 6 terabytes or 7. And um, let's take a look. So we got... Okay, yep, so it's a RAID, RAID 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh, there's actually one terabyte drive, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
six, seven. So it has to be a raid ten, I believe. I'll have to take a look at the configuration. So that's running. Here we can actually go into the freelance. And the good thing about my SAN network, it's on its own um, network. It is not it does not see no internet, does not see local area, doesn't does not see anything. It's on its own direct connect attached storage through uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet over TwinX. So I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, I like FreeNest, the uptime is pretty darn good. Um, I usually have some updates, but I do them monthly. So here's the storage. So as I have my uh, SAN set up, I have um, my data store set up. I got my heartbeat and I got my SAN storage. So my SAN storage is at 5.1. But the max is 8, so I have a lot to expand. And there's my SSD cache. So this was one for uh, the SSD cache log and write. So they actually do pretty much well um, of performance increase compared to a regular um, SAN with FreeNAS without any caching. It's a big improvement. And then here I will show you guys how I have the, some of the iSCSI set up. Since this is my um, internal network, I'm not worried about showing IP addresses and stuff like that because it's internal. Um, here we go 101, 100. This is a 10 gig direct connect iSCSI 01 and 02. Um, my initiators, it's all. There's no authorized access, there's no need to have to chap on here. Here's my IQNs. And uh, for both two e hosts, here are my extents and my targets that are associated with it. So it shows up there's 212 connected and 215. So each one of them get a heartbeat. This one just to say, hey, I'm up, the server's up, and then can I see the server with the storage? So this actually just is like a little ping for uh, the SAN just to say it's alive, but there's no storage used off of it. Um, here are my interfaces here's my 230 and here's my MTU setup with 9000 even though if it doesn't go through a switch I still keep the MTU at 9000 for the highest packet um, and there you go there's IP address so, let's see is the backup still running oh no it's done let's see if we can see some statistics network Let's see. Okay, so here it is. So this is the traffic interface for the first XIO, XI0, and XI1 is over here. This one, when there's a high load, it's around 1.1 gigabits per second. 1.1, and probably climbs 1.2. So that's the highest. They both see around 1.2, 1.2, 873, this one's 818. Um, usually when the VM loads, it usually spikes up, but that's pretty much it. Um, let's minimize that. But yeah, here's just a little update to show you guys how my uh, stuff is set up for uh, just my little uh, network based, uh, little private. Uh, high, private cloud with the vCenter ESXi 6.0 hypervisor um, and yes it has around almost 200 gigs of RAM 5.26 terabytes but that's, I can increase that to up to 7 um, right now we got 21 VMs and total of them are using a vMotion R20 and here's a little map to show you guys the whole infrastructure. So there are some of the drives that are not connected. See the heartbeat doesn't need to be connected. So there's 215, there's 212, there's a VM network, and there's FreeNAS. So it's a nice star topology type of uh, infrastructure. It's pretty uh, 
pretty nice. So, but yeah, thanks for you guys watching. Uh, it's a little bit decently long video, but um, just to give you guys more heads up, I will be doing more tutorials on how to set up uh, Ice Cuzzy and uh, any other things like this. Um, stay tuned and like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you.